Research Institute, or ESRI, was one of the first companies founded specifically to provide GIS software tools. ESRI's ArcInfo software is now a widely used commercial GIS software package. Jack Dangerman. Well, I think of a GIS system as a database of geographic features, and that's how we've tried to organize the way that we talk about it, the way that we work with it technically, that is some kind of a notion or concept that embodies the, the concepts of DBMS generally. DBMS is database management systems? Exactly. So there are some concepts that we think about when we adhere to, to database. They are that we organize data in a database, not simply a series of electronic files. When we do that, we follow a formal model of how we organize that data and the model that has evolved in the GIS, uh, in the GIS technology in recent years has been that rather than trying to automate a drawing or automate a CAD type representation of geography as we've expressed in an electronic drawing, we say what's behind the drawing and what is behind the, mo behind the drawing and the model that's starting to emerge is features. These are geographic or spatial features. They are points, lines, polygons organized in a database environment and their attributes. And the models that have been popularized most recently have involved principles of relational database, open-ended data structures that allow people to put in their data into these databases uh, in following this formal model uh, and then use them. That is, we try in a data model to organize the data in such a way like your mind works, you know, things are interrelated. So when we organize features in a database about geography, we want to store them as a series of relationships, not simply graphic representations. And why is that important? Because certain things that we want to do with data, like queries that are complicated, that look at interrelationships, across space or through different layers uh, provide the basis for decision support. So one of the principles of database is that we organize data formally with a data model and that data models should be should be able to accommodate all kinds of explicit relationships, graphic and tabular. The second one is that it has minimum redundancy. We don't store a lot of different graphic views in the database, we generate graphic views as we want them using software to associate symbology to these features. 